In this video, I will show you how to install Google Play Store in your Windows computer and get access to all the Android applications and games and run them natively in any region of the world. The first step is to enable some features of Windows. From the taskbar, just type Windows feature and then it will show control panel as a result. Click on that and scroll down and make sure to enable Windows Hypervisor Platform and Virtual Machine Platform. I repeat, enable only Windows Hypervisor Platform and Virtual Machine Platform, and finally click on OK. These two features are very much essential for running Play Store and Android apps and games in Windows computer. After enabling features, reboot the computer to apply the changes. After computer boots up, next step is to download some necessary files from official GitHub page by Microsoft. Launch any web browser and type WSA Windows 11 GitHub. Click on this very link, which says Windows Subsystem for Android, which is the second link of the search results page. Downloading Windows Subsystem for Android will allow to run Android apps. As you can see, this GitHub page is created by Microsoft itself. Now scroll down and click on this hyperlink, which says WSA Builds. And on the next page, you will find different builds. It is important to choose the correct file as per your device type and Windows version. You will see stable builds and pre-release builds for both Windows 10 and Windows 11. I will download the stable build for my Windows 11 computer and also will select x64 bit as per my device specifications. Clicking on the link will redirect to a download page as shown. Here on the download page, there will be various version of Windows subsystem for Android, like with or without Amazon Store, version with Google Play Store included, version with Magisk Manager included, also version with neither Amazon nor Google Play Store included, and etc. For this video, I will download the version without Amazon Store and with Google Play Store. Scroll down and under Assets section, click on the first link to download Windows Subsystem for Android with Google Play Store included and Amazon Store excluded. Let it download. As you can see the 7z zip file is getting downloaded. If you are still with me, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Once downloaded, next it's time to extract the same file. Open File Manager and navigate to the folder where the downloaded file is located. Right click on it and click on Extract. Just extract on the same location. If you have any confusion or questions, click on the I button and join my Telegram channel where I am mostly active. And then just copy or cut the file as shown. The following step is very crucial. Make sure to paste the folder in Documents Path only and no other folder. Otherwise it will not work. Next rename the entire folder as WSA in block letters as shown in the video. Double click and enter the folder. Now scroll down and locate the file run.bat. Just double click on the file to run the batch files. If you get a security pop-up like this, just click on more info and then click on run anyway. The installation process will start as shown. Now just sit back and let it install the necessary files. And if you ever get this pop-up, just check the box and click on continue. When the installation process is over, it will automatically redirect to a web page like this, which says that Windows subsystem for Android is successfully installed with Google Apps. Sometime it will not redirect, but do check your taskbar for any open website. Next to set up Windows subsystem for Android, search for the app and launch the same. Next go to advanced settings and then enable developer mode as shown on the video. Now just click on manage developer settings. This will open the developer settings similar to that of an Android phone. And if you get a pop-up like this, just select allow and allow public and private network to access Windows subsystem for Android app. Now go back to the WSA settings page. Under experimental features, enable only this very option as shown. Next, navigate to window focus and select independent and it's done. It's the moment of truth. Let's check if Play Store is working correctly and also installing Android apps from the store without any error. Launch Play Store, log in with your Google credentials. So far it's working great and no issues. Now let's install an Android application for demonstration and we'll also check if it runs natively in my Windows computer or not. We will install Photos app. As you can see, the installation process has begun, so far no error. And here you have it. We have successfully installed Android app from Google Play Store in my Windows computer without any issues. Also the app will work, as it's expected to, by backing up photos and videos, stored in my computer. You can even play Android games in your computer. Now, if you want to run Windows 11 in your iOS devices, 
like iPad and iPhone. Watch the next video.